My name is Paolo Dorostanga. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist and vitreoretinal surgeon. What are you looking into? So we have uh, two studies, the SCOPE and the FOCUS study. In the SCOPE study, patients with geographic atrophy secondary to dry MD are screened for eligibility and genotype with a saliva sample. If they are found to have a red variant, they are observed for 96 weeks. And during this period, if they are eligible for FOCUS, which is an interventional trial, we offer them the opportunity to participate in the, in, the, in the surgical arm of the study. The surgical element is a phase one, two interventional study. So we are looking for patients with geographic atrophy. We confirm the presence of, of the condition with a couple of tests, uh, fundus autofluorescence imaging and visual acuity. Patients need to have 40 letters of vision or better and uh, patients undergo uh, gene therapy. It's a one-off surgery where uh, we do a vitrectomy surgery and we inject the study drug directly uh, under the retina. What do you hope the results will be when you inject this gene therapy? In these patients, in this group of patients with dry AMD, if we manage to stabilize the condition, especially if we treat the condition early, that would be very, very significant, a, 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 a very successful uh, result. What, what led you to look into using gene therapy for geographic atrophy? We know that uh, from research of others that uh, uh, patients with uh, uh, low uh, complement uh, eye uh, have a higher tendency or risk of presenting uh, geographic atrophy. If we, what we are trying to achieve with gene therapy is rebalance that complement system in a way that patients do not need to have intravitreal injections on uh, every month or every other month. Uh, <clears throat> there are other trials looking at intravitreal anti-complement injections, again, to rebalance the, the complement uh, system. And uh, the trials are reporting uh, very successful results, up, up, approximately or close to 30% uh, 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 per year reduction in the growth rate of geographic atrophy. So. What we are trying to achieve here, as I said before, is, is, is trying to, with a one-off surgery, uh, <clears throat> avoid the need of monthly or every other month intravitreal injections. What, what do you think this could mean for the future of dry AMD? Hopefully, it will allow us to know more, understand better how uh, macular degeneration of the dry type develops. And if we can, uh, if the study is successful, and we can then treat at, at, at an earlier stage, we may be able to, progress, to prevent significant loss of vision. And um, so what are you wanting the participants to do? You're just going to observe them and take some genes, is that correct? Well, uh, we see them, we, we screen them, we discuss what the study is about, they sign a consent form, and uh, we take a, a sample of saliva. It's as simple as that. And that is as much as they need to do and then we monitor them for 96 weeks. And those that meet a certain eligibility criteria, we can offer them to participate from the interventional study. There's a number, they, a helpline they can contact, uh, 01438-532-142, I repeat the number, 01438-532-142. Uh, they will be uh, informed of their nearest uh, testing center uh, they can also uh, contact uh, Gyroscope uh, Therapeutics via uh, telescope at gyroscopetx.com. Uh, but what do you want optometrists to do? Do you want them to recommend patients to the study? Absolutely. We, it would be ideal for optometrists to let patients know that there is not only hope, but there is the possibility of participating in trials with a view of not only being observed, but also if, they, if patients meet certain inclusion criteria to undergo treatment. It is very, very important. The, more, uh, the larger number of patients that we treat the and, and observe and treat, the more we will learn and, and the faster we will reach a cure for this uh, devastating condition.